like hit it. Okay. So let me like just start it. Okay. Hi, Acres Green. I have some exciting news. We had such great success with our first greatness interviews that we are going to continue those. And we're going to try to do them more often and include as many of you as possible. So we are gonna start with two of our Student Lighthouse team members. Um, boys, do you wanna tell us your names? My name is Jackson Carpenter, also known as a literal car. And what grade in class are you in? Uh, Mr. Lowood's fourth grade class. Okay, and? My name is Jaden. Oh wait, do we have to say the last name? No. I'll say it. Uh, Leifer, and I'm in Mr. Ludwig's class grade four grade. Most people know which grade Mr. Perfect. Um, Jackson, how would your friends describe you? Funny, smart, and car. And a car. Why do they call you a car? Because I like cars. Because you're a car guy. Yes. Get it. Jaden, how would your friends describe you? Smart, over the top, literal, and um, well, doesn't like being called cool smart. Okay, so you're over the top literal. You take everything very seriously. Yeah, sometimes I take it too literal that everyone thinks it's a joke. And, I think it was. and then you don't even know why they think it's a joke. Yeah. I get that. Jaden, has there ever been a teacher who's made a difference in your life? Um, um let's see. Um, probably my second to the great teacher, Mrs. Green. She is not in school, so. That's, That's okay. I've never heard of her. That's okay. Uh, Mrs. Crane, why did she make a difference in your life? Uh, she taught me to be a better human. I just look at her as Because, well, she was really nice and she she was never actually mean. And when and she, and that just like made me feel like That's really special. She sounds like a great lady. Yeah. Jackson, how about you? Any special teachers in your life? It seems to just be the next teacher I have. Just every teacher you've had? No, just, it feels like every grade, the teachers get better and better. So I guess right now, Mr. Lovely, because he doesn't let many things slide, but he, he, but he isn't very, he's not so strict. He's not a fun person to be around. He's a fun person to be around and he's strict. So he's able to do both. He can set rules, but also be fun. Which not very many teachers do. So you haven't had that experience. But it sounds like you've had a lot of really good teachers. Yes. That's great. I love That's awesome. Well, so boys, I have a question for both of you. What is your favorite part of Acres Green? Well, I like how And the acting, because I swear me and my mom were like, Oh my gosh, I wish this school would have some activities. Because last year we were here, we didn't get any end of the day activities. Then we found out about all this stuff, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. So like, you are loving the activities. Being on Student Lighthouse team, Jaden, you're also one of the actors in our play. And Duke. You are as well, yes. We've got two actors in this room. What are some of your favorite parts about Acre Stream? What are a couple? Um, one. Lunch is good. You like lunch? Every time I read a book about someone at school, the lunch is atrocious. <laughs> so I'm not having that experience. And another thing I like is that there's so many stuff, there's so much stuff you can do. You can, be a, you can just be a total nerd, like you can be a student lighthouse, be an actor. You, you can just be at anything. You can just be you. You just be whoever you are. Well, that's great. And I'm glad that lunch is going well and not like it is in the stories. It's good. Uh, Jaden, what's something that you are proud of? Um, does it have to be about me? Something, it doesn't have to be about you, but it might be helpful for our viewers to know a little bit more about okay, you. Okay, that would help so, because they might see a bunch of videos of us and see two other kids. So <laughs> that would help. Um. Probably me being brave to actually like act and sing 
My last acting class, the whole room was packed. There was not one seat that's not packed. I was freaking out and I get up on stage and I'm like, this is not scary. What's going on? And I sang a karaoke like, like a week ago uh -huh. and on spring break in Mexico because I went to Mexico. And I sang. I, there was more people than in there than the actors. Oh my gosh. So you have discovered about yourself that it's not as scary as you thought to get up in front of people and act and to sing. It's just scary to see it before you actually start. So once you start, you know that it's not so bad. And that's something you're proud of. I love that. What's something you're proud of? Oh, I'm proud of. Um, I think proud of. Probably. Probably that I'm in both gifted talented programs, the reading and the math. And just and in like everything possible. Cap Star Blaster and SLT, both gifted and talented. So I'm basically in like every over the top thing that you could possibly be in. So you you are really proud of the fact that you do so many things. And it sounds like you do them really well. Yeah. That's awesome. I guess you failed. No, you haven't failed. Uh, Jackson, what is your favorite of the seven habits? And which one is the hardest for you? Favorite sharp of the saw. Alex Sports. Which are some new sports this year. And the hardest. Probably see first to understand and to be understood. Because I just like to express. Mm -hmm. But stopping and listening is hard. Yeah. Good. Jada, same um, question. Um, so I feel like the easiest for me is sharpening the song. Because then you get better at stuff. Like, let's say you're writing. And you, at first, when I was in kindergarten, my writing was like this scribble, scribble, scribble. Mm -hmm. And now my writing's better. I don't know if it's still scribbles, but it doesn't look like what? it. It's basically, good. you have the natural italics. That could be cool. And then uh, uh, the one that is not easy for me the most is think when win. Because I can easily think when win, but no one actually like actually thinks the same strategy. So it gets kind of hard. Like it is a win-win strategy, but no one really pays attention and just does. Feels like so, Basically, it's like, feels like it's like, a, it's like, like some type of game of monopoly. Let's one person wins and one person loses. So you're willing to think, hey, there's a solution out here for everybody, but sometimes it's hard for the other people who are, you're working with to feel the same way mm -hmm. and to come up with solutions yeah. that work. I, I get, get that. that. I get that too. Yeah. So I have my final question for both of you is what makes you great? Uh, I think what makes me great is that I'm smart and I and I can pass some grades. Well, mo well, most of my grades because I don't think I feel like that. Oh wait, I have in first grade in kindergarten. They, I was at a whole different school and it was higher level. They in kindergarten they were teaching third grade. First grade, uh, second grade, so that was like easy. But it was, it was hard for me, and now I'm just passing the grades. Yeah. So you did things that were hard, and you passed. And so you feel like being smart is something that makes you great. It's pretty awesome. Jackson. Again, just being a part of everything, and also I get involved in like sports and stuff. So you're just kind of discovering all of these great things about you and doing all kinds of awesome things. Trying to do everything at once. Trying to do everything and somehow doing it all. Yes. That's great. All right, well, friends, you might be next. Our next edition is going to have two more Student Lighthouse team members, and then we are going to randomly draw one of your names out of a bucket. And you could be the next interviewee. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. I don't care if you're 40, you might get picked. <sighs>